You know, I'm actually, you know, I may actually anger a few people, I guess, or maybe a lot of people, I don't know, for the most part, with this particular video that I wanted to do. I think this was actually a video that was actually, again, uh, I think a long time in the works, but, you know, I felt the need, I guess, to actually go ahead and uh, do a video uh, regarding this particular uh, subject here in response to a lot of comments that I actually did on a video that was done a couple of months back. Um, it's so funny out of all the videos that I do the ones that where I talk about pretty much you know the homosexual lifestyle and such you know those are the main ones really for the most part that really generates you know I wouldn't say a lot of views according to what some people may say a lot of views may be but for me you know that those uh, type of videos do generate some sort of views you know and not only does it generate a lot of views but they also generate comments and things that you know that people may say you know that may try to that I guess I don't know if they may try to rub me the wrong way or you know they may be trying to illustrate a point I guess and I think that you know by illustrating a point it kind of generates me to you know to think about some things and pretty much generate a thoughtful and meaningful response I did a video back you know a couple of months back where I was talking about the issue with uh, men uh, gay men and how feminine or I would say soft if you will that they've become you know with everything that they're doing is for is actually being able to be transformed into what society wants them to be um, and for the most part you know that video generated a lot of responses and it, it and to this day it's still actually generating you know views and everything you know people would leave comments and everything but there was a comment that was actually left on my on my uh, on that particular post on that video that I actually wanted to do a video about you know in response to that comment I th uh, I'm not going to actually show that particular information on my screen, but I'll pretty much just give you the gist of what they're saying. They were saying that pretty much that, you know, there is a, uh, uh, I guess, uh, how can I put this? There is no comparison when they're, when you're talking about the black community and being gay, meaning that they're, and they're comparing it to slavery. You know, they're saying that there is no difference in a black, a gay black man and slavery. And, you know, that kind of angered me a little bit, you know, and of course, you know, I had to step away from my computer screen, you know, and just, just general work and stuff and just kind of sit down and really think about some things and put some things in perspective, which is the reason why I wanted to do this video. So for the most part, you know, I wanted to actually kick off by actually, you know, just kind of putting it out there that I may ex upset some people, but again, you know, that's okay. Anybody who knows me or pretty much uh, frequents my videos and such, I talk about issues and such, you know, and you are free to take away from it what you will. But one thing about it, I will not, I will say is that you be respectful for, you know, for what I have to say and, you know, and I'll, you know, accept that in like kind, but don't come on here being, you know, an a-hole or whatever you else you want to call it and just being obnoxious because again the first thing that I'm gonna do is block you and I don't like to block folk so um, again just going on and playing off pretty much that comment you know what we have to understand is that being a gay black male and actually slavery in the most part those are two totally they're like on two different planes altogether and in my opinion is that and my take on the matter is that there is no comparison for the number one fact that slavery in the in a sense was actually meant to uh, or actually enforced to humiliate and emasculate the black man you know there's a lot of you know they did that through many ways through getting into the black man's head that he'll never amount to anything you know and pretty much actually doing all of this type of stuff and really taking away his dignity in front of the black woman who was also enslaved herself you know all of these type of things actually played into the head of the black man to make him think that you know he would never rise above and actually be able to be productive in you know what we know as society today you know and one thing about it is that again is slavery was actually something that was forced upon you I mean it, being in the you know being an African American you know back in those times you know they didn't have a choice whether or not they wanted someone to actually be over them that choice was actually made for them and because of that you know that's why we have a lot of folks that are still living in that mind frame today even though we are free and that you know slavery has ended years ago we still have a lot of black folks that really is still having a hard time dealing with the fact that they are free you know because again because of what but, you know, white society actually wanted to beat into our heads to make us think that we'll always be superior, you know. And like I say, when I run across people like that who actually uh, think that way, you know, I'm like telling you here, look, we're living in a different time frame. This is not the Jim Crow era. We have things that we can do to better ourselves. We have avenues that are available to us, you know, that are open to us where we did not have that, you know, luxury back then because of, again, because of the white folks, you know, for the most part, did not want, you know, black folks to really have you know, and because of the fact, and I think that was, and I think because of that, I think that 
they were inferior to or actually afraid of how blacks would actually be successful successful and outdo them in some things especially in the uh, sexual department if you know what I mean but you know again you know clicking piggybacking off of that you know again a lot of people are still you know I guess wanting to I guess be accepted in society for the most part and they actually feel like you know they're being ostracized and you know and people in society doesn't want to anything to do with them and they equate that to uh, again being in slavery now one thing about it again in this day and time frame slavery in my opinion since we are free as African Americans slavery is a mindset and that's a mindset that I choose not to adopt again you know I've been through a lot in life I'm not an old person but I've been through a lot in life you know, and the thing about it is that you go through things, you know, to become better, to rise above, to be more mature, you know, to become more productive, to go out there and do things. But again, you know, when you rise above things, you know, again, you don't sit there and constantly think about, you know, how someone else feels about you or the fact that, you know, again, you're looking, for, you know, to see what or I should say to get acceptance from someone because again when you're confident in yourself and your abilities you're not gonna really go out and really try to seek acceptance from other folks I mean if they accept you that's fine but if they choose not to then again you know there's no sweat off your back you're gonna keep it moving but you know again this comparison between being a homosexual black man and the gay community I mean a homosexual black man in slavery they're pretty much I guess from the mind frame I guess I can almost understand what they're saying you know where they're actually being kicked under the carpet or actually being you know treated horribly according to them you know and they're equating that same type of feeling to you know how blacks were being treated and stuff like that now when you're talking about that particular aspect I, I, I guess you would have a point with that I don't know but the fact about it is that again you know that would be the only point I would say that those two particular uh, entities or particular situations really have that is in common but see one thing about it is that we're moving away from pretty much you know the comparison and really looking at this whole thing for what it is and how you know America is starting to really view black men and see one thing about it again is that it doesn't matter where you go where you look who you know and everything like this you know it's like in Hollywood gay is the new black thing you know every time you turn on a sitcom TV show you know and pretty much you know all these different things you know and I mean media really has a lot to do with it I believe it really does and, and that is just gonna be my opinion and I don't care what nobody says media does have a lot of influence on how we as African Americans or as black folk act and how we develop and you know seek out relationships because again we are always wanting to be in the know-how and we always want to be able to adapt to like a chameleon we want to adapt and be able to say okay you know we want to be on the new thing the new end thing and see for the African American community being gay and I don't care what and this is just my take on it being gay is really the new thing and the sad part about it is that that's the new thing that America is actually wanting to associate with the black man and you know because of that we have a lot of them that are going out there seeking relationships you know for you know with other men of the same you know other men you know and, and wanting to I guess find themselves as being complete you know one thing about it is that there is like every time you talk about you know gay black men you can look at almost every shade of a black man you know and for the most part in in some sense or another you're going to see one of some nine times out of ten you're going to see one of them out there that are you know got the uh loud flamboyant voice you know and pretty much sitting up there snapping the fingers and now i will say this not all of them do that but you do have a lot of them from different shades of black that will really act like that from time to time you know and like i say you know it's it's so common now to the fact that you know it really doesn't i guess um phase me or really surprise me when I see this because I just look at the fact that okay well you know what there's another one you know that is really choosing that lifestyle and like I say if you want to choose that lifestyle that is on you like I, this is not a, a presentation for me actually you know beating somebody across the head for their choices because again that's what you want to be that's what you want to associate yourself with and I'm not going to argue and go into any debates with anybody regarding that this is my video I'm going to keep it moving but for the most part you know again we are th the black men are actually being transformed and to what America wants them to be and for the most part it's like it's rampant now it's like everywhere you go you know you're seeing and even posters pictures and everything you're seeing you know black men are getting together you know and forming relationships with each other I mean and for the for the that from that standpoint you know the gay community would think okay well you know all I want to be is in a relationship you know it doesn't matter if I would be in one with a man or a woman you know I want a fulfilling relationship on the surface I could un probably maybe possibly understand the concept of where they're coming from but I still it, it it doesn't sit well with me and like I say you know that is my I'm allowed to feel that way 
but for the most part, you know, again, we look at superstars on television and things like that, and we, and for the most part, the black men are, you know, for the most part, not all black men, but most, but some of them are sitting up there fantasizing. Okay, you know what? I want that. I, you know, like I say, you know, and and again, it's all about personal choice about what you want to do. But see, again, you know, it's like this gay gay new thing or whatever is floating around in the atmosphere now and where it's actually really to starting to infiltrate the black community and a lot of that has to do with the fact again is that uh, as far as what's going on in the home you know and I did videos about that once before where we were talking about or I was discussing the fact that you know a lot of times you have a lot of you know black boys turning into gay black men because of the fact of the absence of a father figure in the home you know and I did a video and I actually included some um, a, a little you know clip of some things you know on MTV to support my argument but again you know and the sad part about it is that men are not really valuing their seed as well that is the reason why a lot of times you do have a large percent of uh, you know black families where the child is really being left by the mother to raise and see with that being said you know again you know, the the young man is actually taking on the uh, viewpoint of life from how a female would actually see it. And I mean, the mother, God bless her, she's trying to raise him the best way that she knows how. But the only influence that he has right now is a female. And again, and as he's growing up and it's going to come naturally where he's going to be getting to, you know, respond to the environment the way a female would respond. You know, and again, and we're sitting up there wondering why we have a... Uh, like most of the gay black uh, the gay co or most of the black community be turning gay is because of the fact that we have men that are just checking out on their families they're not even wanting to be there to support or really to show you know to give a father or to give a masculine influence on these young men and again you know and I'm not trying to beat up on anybody I'm just pretty much stating fact but you know for the most part we have a lot of that that's the reason why we are starting to see a shift in the behaviors of how young black men behave as far as their development you know, we also have, you know, a lot of them that are talking about the gene, the gay gene and everything like that. I, I'll say this. You are born with inclinations. You're not born with a gay gene. I don't know. I don't care what type of science or whatever it may say or whatever the case may be. We are all born with inclinations on what we want to do or whatever the case may be. You know, we're, we're, we're all born and we're all drawn to certain things. But see, one thing about it is that what's going to determine whether or not we're going to act and really become intimate with this thing is because of the influence of television. Again, the media. We have a lot of, you know, stars, you know, who, who came out years ago, you know, saying that it's okay to be gay and all this other type of stuff. You know, and again, with the black folks being so gullible and always easily to influence, and that's a, a major downfall with the black folk. We're able to really go in and adapt to what society wants us to be. And for the most part, you know, they are winning. You know, they're succeeding, which is the reason why you don't really see too many masculine young boys, you know, that are really behaving like young men. You know, what we see it, when we turn on the television these days is we see people like this, you know, who's on what? America's Next Top Model but looking ridiculous, looking like a complete mess from the floor up, sitting up there wanting folks to take them seriously. How in the world can America or society take you seriously when you're sitting up there looking like a buffoon? You know, and that's pretty much really what our... Well, the young black men are really gravitating to these days, and it's sad. It really is, and they're really taking on and adopting the personas of what they see on television. And the fact that they don't have a father really doesn't, or a father figure in the household is not even helping it as well. It's really actually making it a lot worse. But, you know, again, we're sitting up there, you know, allowing these type of things, and I mean, and there's nothing that we can do. The only thing we can do, as far as I'm concerned, is pray. Like I say, a lot of people may look at that and may get offended by that. But, you know, again, I said, if you don't like to listen to my videos, then guess what? You don't have to. You can keep it moving. But, again, you know, we there's nothing that you do. People are really, you know, same sex, you know, and it's getting stronger and stronger by the day. Because, again, we have a president that really is uh, behind, you know, gay marriage, you know, gay relationships, whatever the case may be, which is further fuel that's actually being used, you know, to say, okay, you know what? If the president says that it's okay and everything like that, then why is it wrong for me to want to do it? I mean, he doesn't see anything wrong with it. And like I said, you have some people that think that way. But see, again, we're gravitating toward, again, what media wants us to be as far as black, the black community. And again, you know, because of that, we have a lot of this going on. And all of this type of thing is really playing into the mind of the young black man. And again, you know, there's a lot of other things also that are really shaping him in his, as far as his choices and who he wants to be and how he wants to express himself sexually. You know, one thing about it is that, again, as, we, as I said, media does play a lot in what we actually do as far as how we behave, how we treat one another, how we respond to the environment. But, you know, a lot of times, and, and I'm, I had to actually do a little 
I guess a little uh, searching a little bit, which I didn't have to do all. I didn't have to really. I really didn't have to go that far to really pull up different videos and such of different things that I found on YouTube, which I thought was uh, hilarious, you know. But again, you know, uh, you you run across a lot of things on YouTube, and again, it it really it 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 gets you to thinking again of how all of this particular you know social media and all this type of stuff how it actually plays into the mindset of you know these particular of this particular issue. You know, you're young, you're black, you know, and, and you want to experiment and everything like that. And again, you know, experimentation, I mean, it comes in all forms. I mean, there's nothing you can do about that. I mean, like I say, to me, that's a part of growing up. You're going to go through some things. You're going to experience. And what you do through experience, you figure out what you want, whether or not you like this or whether or not you don't. But see, again, it's getting to the point where it's getting out of hand, where, you know, it's being openly advertised, where, you know, you know I'm gay I'm proud and everything like that and like I say if that's the way you want to portray yourself you know that is all and well and fine with you but see one thing about it is that again and I think what's the issue is that the gay community and it's getting it's like it's enlarging itself daily in the black community as far as it's uh, among the black men the fact about it is that it's not being kept you know between the folks who want to practice that it's actually being forced upon the rest of society so basically we have to deal with it and see that's where you actually have the clash in personalities where you know people are getting ready to do things and behave you know and just really you know do things that really you know that's just not really humane I should say and I guess you know there's nothing that we can do about it because again this is not only affecting our young folks again it's it's you know it's really affecting our older uh, adults as well because now they're even you know posting videos you know on YouTube about you know with them having a good time and going out I mean there's nothing wrong with having a good time or whatever but case may be but see right now America and society is starting to become more accepting of you know the black community becoming gay because again here we go we going back to the issue that men are not valuing their seed they check out the minute that the baby is born they don't want to have anything to do with it and now you know the woman is left with it so now they're growing up with this feminist or feminine attitude you know as far as their response to the environment and again that's why you have a lot of things that's going on you know and that's why you have a lot of people that are posting silly things on the internet you know if these black men and the older black folks are doing it as well so you know it's, it's really funny it really is it's hilarious and like I say it's hilarious to the point where it's, it's really sad that's just me talking but you know we actually have to get to really the cold heart truth about the whole thing you know there is no comparison to me when you compare uh, slavery to homosexuality to me that makes me angry because again you know slavery is something that really that that uh, signifies a significant mark in of black American history you know it shows us where we where we came from and why we are the way that we are now I mean it's not necessarily a bad thing but it explains our heritage how we behave the reason why we actually act sometimes the way that we do homosexuality has nothing to do with that because again that's something that actually that you go through and actually learn through observation I don't think anybody or any young black man would actually want to learn to go back into slavery. I don't think that that's a, I think that's a pretty uh, self, you know, assess, uh, uh, fair assessment, I should say. There's nobody trying to sit there to learn how to be up under someone's foot. You know, but again, homosexuality is a learned behavior. And sometimes, you know, it's, it's developed again because, you know, situations where, again, the man may have not wanted to be wanting to be around, you know, to help raise their child. And again, you know, it could be where uh, someone had been through a traumatic experience during a childhood, maybe uh, uh, an uncle or something molested them when they were young, you know, and now it's kind of got them warped and everything, you know, and how, you know, they're supposed to live the rest of their life as whether or not, you know, a straight man or, you know, a gay man. You know, but again, you know, there is no comparison is what I'm saying. And I get tired of people sitting up there leaving comments, you know, and, you know, saying that, you know, it, there is a comparison. There is a likelihood it's the same it's one and the same it's not the same because again one you couldn't control the other one you do have some control depending on the search the circumstance and the situation but again you know this lie again that's being you know filtered out in society is really having a dramatic effect on our young on our young black men you know it's kinda hard these days to really walk down the street and really see someone who is really genuinely you know a young man you know, like I said, I mean, you can't really tell someone's gay, you know, on the surface for the most part. But these days, it's becoming all too easy now to really tell, I mean, for the most part. But I, I, I mean, again, you have some of them who are really masculine and turn out, you know, they just happen to just like men. You know, it's, it can be tricky like that sometimes. 
you know like I say you know it's just that the media really has transformed and really has gotten the black community into believing lies you know and the fact about it is that we buy into those lies pretty much and like I say you know when we buy into lies or whatever we accept it as truth we try to you know bombard someone else with it as truth and the fact about it is that it's not the truth but again you know a lot of people are not going to see it that way because we are also used to living you know an immoral lifestyles but again you know to each his own but I will say this one thing is that if this thing here is not actually left in check like I said you're going to have a lot of people running down the aisles with the same sex marriages and all this other type of stuff we see it already you know younger folks and, and older folks are getting married but again about it, the whole thing about it is that and the backup that they may use is the fact that you know we have a president who happens to favor gay folks so like I say you know I'll just keep it short and sweet that's my take on it if you want to leave a comment do so however if you leave a comment be respectful that's how I roll alright peace out